Welcome to Celebrating Act 2. Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life. Hi, I'm Donna Lynn from Vigor and Trim Fitness and Health and Membership site for people over 50, just like you and me. <laughs> and you're here today at Celebrating Act 2. Welcome. This is Short and Sweet, where I am going to show you an exercise tip and a nutrition tip to keep you healthy and strong. Now, our exercise tip today is all about balance. And boy, don't we know that we are really familiar with the lack of balance. And that's not how it should be because exercise can actually help maintain your balance. All right. So there's no reason to be falling all over, generally speaking. All right. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to work on balance because, you know, when you're in, when you um, sense where you are in space, that's called proprioception and we lose some of that as we get older so we're going to try to work some of that out with some of these balance exercises so let's get going and i want you to take a weight i want you to try this you can try it without a weight at first i'm going to use a weight and see how well i do all right <laughs> this is not easy i just want to tell you that <laughs> actually it's very easy but it does take some balance yes okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to really first get one leg really in order here. So I'm going to take that foot and plant it into the ground. I'm going to use my toes, spread them out, and kind of grab the floor with them. And then I'm going to walk up that leg, making that leg nice and steady. I'm going to squeeze my quadricep, pulling it up off of my knee, holding up. I'm going to lift from my pelvic, core, pelvic floor, lift it up squeeze my abdominals and then pull my ribs in all right now when i got all that going and then i'm just going to shift my weight to one leg now i'm going to just take one leg up here good now my weight is on my hanging my hanging arm uh, the, the hang the weight where it's hanging <laughs> is on that standing leg all right now i'm going to hold that here and then i'm going to take this weight over to my shoulder right and then i'm going to bring it back oh uh, yeah bring it back okay we're going to try that again take it over to the shoulder and then bring it back all right think we can do it again <laughs> well you try it <laughs> yeah just try that out it's fun too it's fun and certainly challenging okay today what are we going to talk about today well, this is something that really deserves a space in your shopping cart. I'm telling you the truth about that. And it is seaweed. Now, we don't talk about that much, but it's used all over in Asia and stuff in a more common way than we're doing it. But it is so good. It's packed with vitamins, minerals, fibers, protein, iron. I mean, it has all kinds of stuff in it. Really nutritious. All right, it does have sodium in it too, but you know what? Sodium in food is okay, right? So here's what we're going to look for. The kinds, of, well, let me start again. The um, seaweed is actually an algae, right? And, you know, it is so incredibly sustainable to grow. It grows easily and it's wonderful. But anyways, so it's an algae and there's three main types red, green, and brown. But within those types, there's like 12,000 species, lots, lots of species in there. And they all contain different amounts of vitamins and minerals, etc. So I'm going to go through some of the ones that we're more common with. We know more. And so uh, nori, for instance, we see that in sushi where they wrap the rolls in our sushi um, restaurants. That's nori. And nori is full of vitamin A, B12, and protein. You wouldn't think of that huh? proteins in there. That's pretty good. And kumba, we use that too. And that's a mix of browns and it's full of iron and iodine. I use that in some of my um, broths that I make. All right, wakame or wakami. Sorry, I mispronounced that. That's really versatile. That's what you find in your miso soup and it's full of fiber. Dulce has iron and iodine, potassium, B12, important vitamin for us. Aonori is a dried flakes used as condiment and garnish, and they are full of B vitamins and proteins. So you see, there is a lot of variations, 
and a lot of places you can use that seaweed. So make sure you have a little place in your shopping cart that you put some in there and try it out. All right, well, you know why I do this. I do this to keep you healthy and strong. I knew you could say that. <laughs> and you want to be able to have a long, healthy, active lifestyle where you get to enjoy the activities that you love in a body that does them well. Huh? Yeah, so I'm Donna Lynn. This is Short and Sweet. I hope to see you next time. Bye-bye. For more on Celebrating Act 2, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life.